Let's look at the graphic approach to interpreting the uh, convolution integral. And uh, mathematically, very rigorously, we derive it as um, yt is equal ht when integration of ht minus tau times x tau with respect tau, right? So what this actually integration is doing, right? So let's see, hopefully that will give us a little bit more intuitive explanation or connection to this convolution integral. Uh, so let's look at, we start with the h tail, right? So let's see, I'm using the example. This is just the plot, the example we just did. Okay, so this is the y, this is the h tail. I think we have five times e2 minus 10 t h. Uh, so in this case, 10 tail, u tail. So I'm, I'm basically literally plotting this function here. And so this is original h tail. If you flip, if you you look at the h uh, h uh, t uh, h minus tau h minus tau is just the mirror of the h tau with respect to the vertical axis, right? So this is a flip to the to the left, and h t h t minus tau is just shifting the h minus tau to the right by the time t. Right. So that's here. This is the h, h t minus tau, and this is the x tau I plot. So x tau is the ramp function. X tau is three times. Uh, this is three times tau u tau, and the the u tau is basically doing that uh, when this is negative, the x x tau is is zero. Right, so that's what this step function is doing. Otherwise, this this x tau it just will extend to the negative uh, with the same slope. And now the integrand, remember, just the product of these two, right? If we take the product, this is the product of these two. So this the 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 waveform here I draw here. This is the um, this h h tau h t minus tau times x tau, the area underneath this, this curve, that's the integration, right? That's the y t. So what this really means here is you are integrating this curve, right? This curve, the way we get this curve is multiplying h tau with x tau, h t minus tau, right? The wave form we got from the original h tau. And you can think of this as h t minus tau as the weighting factor on the h x tau, right? So x tau is the, the input signal, right? The input signal could be any waveform, but the impulse response, the system of impulse response will not change. We never change, right? But the x t could be changed. Uh, so this, this is like a template. So the h tau is putting the weighting factor on the x tau, the weighting factor is in a way of that as the, uh, so this is the t, right? And this, this is the t. So as the t moves, so as the t moves, the h t minus tau is gonna go to the right, right? Move to the right. So, and at the point in the past, so this is the past, in the past, uh, closer to the current time, and the HT has a higher weighting factor, that means will give more weight to the input, which kind of making sense, right? Because the input, more recent input will contribute more to the output, right? The very far in the past will have less impact on the output, will have the impact but it will have less impact because the weighting factor, I mean, each point multiplied by each point, so the h, h uh, t minus tau has a lower value. So that's what this really is about. Um, I also have a Python code I wrote today. Uh, I hope we're gonna be able, we're gonna be able to see this. Sometimes it won't won't run well. Let me see if I can get a little bit more area. Yeah. So this is the this is the waveform I just copied from here, 
And here, I, if I slide the time, we'll see the change H. So this H tail will not change. This has nothing information, had no information about the T. So if, let's see the T, if I change, right now is 0.32 seconds. So that's the T, where this T here, I don't know if I can, I, I don't think the uh, Camtasia actually called the cursor. But so I'm looking at the, the first panel on the, the first panel on the, in the second column, right? So HT, if I, if I move to the right, so you see the waveform actually move. So the time goes to the right, right? So if I move to point of four, five, four, four, and you see the, the HT minus tau gonna move to the right. And the, the uh, the product of the ht minus tau will change but the area underneath this this is going to be the x the input right so if i move this closer to zero you see the in, the output y should be close to zero uh, yeah so this is the so in this case my um annotation didn't work well but anyway so this is the this is the uh, how this uh, you see the time as I'm more changing the time so the waveform will go to the right. So this is what this convolution really is doing for us. This is the graphical interpretation. I hope this is almost like an animation here. Uh, so you can you can use this code. You can uh, run the code on your own computer and uh, do the sliding and check yourself. Okay. And if you want to change the step size, and right now I set the step size as 0.02, and uh, you can change that to a different value. Okay, so this is the example, the plot of the our example. I uh, hope this the the um, graphic interpretation will give you a little more intuitive understanding of this integral, the convolution integral. Okay, so next we're gonna look at the network design. It's a different topic.